talk to you for a second. <sighs> They've got 900 numbers for that. See ya. How does Wes Craven's Scream hold up 28 years later? Screen Rant takes a stab at the genre's most iconic slasher. There's no mincing words. Scream is the most terrifying movie in the franchise, and its opening scene is by far its scariest sequence. While Scream's big twist ending is incredibly clever and well-paced, that climax is nowhere near as nerve-shredding as the nightmare endured by Drew Barrymore's Casey Becker. <laughs> Since Barrymore was one of the movie's biggest names, her gruesome death came as a massive shock and one the series has never outdone. It's also one of the reasons why the film became a watershed moment in Hollywood filmmaking. And Hollywood, incidentally, who saw Scream's box office and critical acclaim, decided, hey, let's make more of that, leading to backlash from critics and audiences alike. Much of it misdirected at Scream itself. The movie was blamed for a perceived decline in the quality of 90s horror. However, Scream reinvigorated the slasher and horror genre as a whole, which had begun to wilt in the late 1980s and early 1990s under a slew of mediocre releases. While none of the Scream sequels were quite as scary as the original, there is one unavoidable reason for this issue. Nev Campbell's resilient final girl, Sydney Prescott. Prescott always had to survive the original movie since she was the heroine, and her survival deprived the franchise of some shock value and surprise and subsequently, audiences knew to expect her continued survival throughout the many sequels. Now, while every Scream movie has attempted to outdo the original movie's killer reveal, none of these follow-ups managed to recapture the genuine simplicity of Billy and Stu's double act. The combination of an incredibly obvious suspect and our comic relief character made the reveal unpredictable and inevitable, and a decision to have two killers made the whodunit almost impossible to guess. All this to say, you really need to watch the movie in the context in which it was released. 